Hey everybody, T-Man again, bringing you guys another video, and this is a video um, that needed to be done a long time ago, and I'm very behind on this video, and it may even sound like a rant on this video, but I'm going to be doing my thoughts on how WWE handled the death of Rowdy Rowdy Piper, who passed now, what, two, three weeks ago now. First of all, guys, I, I want to say that... Um, I've always been a big Ready Ready Piper fan. Um, I even have a toy wrestling bout and the Ready Piper DVD both signed by him. I've met him a couple times. Um, Ready Piper is a true legend, okay? Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is that there wouldn't be a WrestleMania. WrestleMania wouldn't be around like it is today if it wasn't for Ready Ready Piper. Roddy Piper doesn't get credit for that, not by WWE, which they should, or nothing. Because if if you go back, I know a lot of people do not know the storyline. They know that Roddy Piper and, and Par Arndorf, um wrestled against Mr. T and Hulk Hogan with with Muhammad Ali and uh, Cindy Lauper and, and all that. But people, I don't think people realize and 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 remember the storyline. Roddy Piper was fucking around with Hulk Hogan, like. Piper, every good guy needs that villain. And that's what Piper was to Hogan. He made that so personal where they needed to have one, one and then they even had a match between Piper and Hogan, and Hogan could not beat Piper. Hogan never pinned Piper in that rivalry in the 80s. Never. He never beat Ruddy Ruddy Piper. Piper was that villain. And what people don't realize is Piper and Hogan, they had a match, the one-on-one uh, -on -one match before WrestleMania, the, the War of the Civil of the Score. And Hogan did not beat Piper. And Piper did not beat Hogan. It was just chaos. And Piper was, and then, then you had the rock and wrestling thing that, that, that then uh, Hogan destroyed Cindy Lauper's record. And it became so personal at that time in the 80s. That match became so big where Vince McMahon needed to put on something that was bigger than wrestling that 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 made everything with pop culture because Cindy Lauper was appearing on WWE TV uh, saying that she's with Hulk Hogan and the rock and wrestling and Piper saying F this destroying the record doing all this stuff Mr. T got involved and they made that's how WrestleMania became you know there wouldn't have been no WrestleMania without Piper because Piper was the guy there was no one really else at that time that that was that much of a villain and was going against Hogan like that because Hogan was pinning everyone clean. I mean, you had Par Ondoff, but he wasn't as great on the mic as Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper was just just fucking with Hulk Hogan like no one else before. So you wouldn't have had Hulk Hogan defend the title against King Kong. None of those guys. It would have been an event, but it would have been a pop culture biggest extravaganza in wrestling like WrestleMania became. And then, before you know it, it became the Super Bowl of wrestling. Then they, they, they had the world title involved at 2, 3. And from that point on, the world title was on the stake, and it just became the biggest pay-per-view but it would have never happened it would have never happened you think about it you think of if Roddy Roddy Piper was never in the WWF Wrestlemania may not be here I mean maybe later in the road it would have uh it, it, it would have happened Vince McMahon so smart he's like you know what WWE WWF at the time we need a Super Bowl of wrestling and probably would have had it um Maybe that would have been uh, uh, WrestleMania. One would have been um, a couple of years later with Andre. You know, had Andre with, with him. But the point is, it, it was unclear. Roddy Piper was the guy who really made WrestleMania possible. Hulk Hogan gets all all the credit, and, and he should because he was the main babyface. He was the guy bringing in the income. He was the guy bringing in all the money. But. Hulk Hogan needs that heel, and there was no one for him to face at that time, and Reddy Piper made it so personal, and made it where, you know, you had a, he made it this pop culture thing with the Cindy Lauper, and then, then his rivalry with Mr. T, and it just became bigger than life, you know, it became a pop culture event. Yeah, WrestleMania 1, and it was all due to Piper, and how WWE has handled that has been appalling it sickens me first of all before he died i don't know if it's true or not but a lot of people said that that they let him go of his legend still i kind of believe that because i know right after because those of you who don't know 
Piper and Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin, had this. And fuck Stone Cold, too. Stone Cold's pissed me off how Stone Cold also handled this whole death of Rowdy Piper. Fuck Stone Cold and fuck the WWE. I mean, what, 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 what they've done. Because first of all, Stone Cold and Piper, they had this little falling out. The, uh, um, Rowdy Piper had a podcast. Rowdy Piper and Austin, before this podcast, were good friends. Uh, Pi uh, uh, the whole reason why Piper had a podcast was uh, he was on podcast one with Stone Cold Steve Austin a long time ago, a few years ago. It was a two-parter, great interview. Stone Cold had with Piper. They, it, you know, they were good friends. They liked each other. Austin recommended Piper did a podcast. Piper was doing a podcast for a long time, for maybe a year, a year and a half. On podcast one, the same station as Stone Cold Steve Austin. One episode brings Will Sasso, which everybody knows. Will Sasso from Matt, uh, old the old Matt TV does a mean Stone Cold Steve Austin impression. It is awesome. Anyways, Piper had a Will Sasso on, on there, and um, he pretended to be, Will Sasso pretended to be Stone Cold Steve Austin, and if you listen to it, it's, you can still find it on iTunes. That podcast is still there on iTunes. You could listen to it, and you really honestly don't know if it's really Stone Cold or not. Like, it sounds like Stone Cold, and it, 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 it's just him talking about the things he talks about on his podcast. Oh, uh, Steve Austin, you know, I, I'm riding my pickup truck, and I, I, got, I got my dog, Hershey the Wonder Dog, and, you know, that's Austin's dog, that he always talks about on his podcast, and he talked about all this other stuff, and you don't know if it's him, and it was funny, and then um, Hacksaw was on the line, and, and, and Will Sassel was pretending to be Austin, and he was fucking around with Hacksaw. It was hilarious. It was funny point is they did not rip into austin austin they didn't insult him or nothing he was just mimicking them austin got offended told podcast one instead of going to piper like a man and i'm a stone cold fan i love stone cold steve austin who doesn't right race hell whatever this video is not about austin but instead of being a man and saying, you know, Rowdy, I, I kind of took offense to that because they're good friends, you know, and he got him a job at podcast one. He's like, you know what? Can, can, can you take it down? Like, I, I, I don't like the fact that like he was pretending like it, because he Will Salsa was doing the impersonation for like 25 minutes. It was a long time. But. The thing is, he was a better Stone Cold than Stone Cold. You know, he wasn't making fun of him, saying, "Hey, I'm a dummy. Yeah, I drink." No, he, it was like he sounded just like him, and it was pretending. But anyways, Austin took offense of it. Told Podcast One. Podcast One threatened Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Took down the podcast and said, "You're not allowed to talk about Stone Cold anymore." Piper got offended, saying, "You're not going to censor me. Fuck you. I quit." And Piper, because I mean, you're not going to bully Ready Ready Piper. And Piper quit, and he did, I believe, only two podcasts. He re we did the uh, um the Will Sasso one because they took off from podcast one. He did it on on SoundCloud, iTunes. He he relaunched that Will Sasso one. Replayed it on there, so that's how I listened to it. There was no, Austin was just being a bitch. If Austin really had, uh, first of all, Austin's a pro wrestler. Come on, people were Will Sasso's done impressionations before, maybe because it was just too weird, real, and didn't like him talking about his dogs. I don't know, and he even talked shit about his dogs. He was just, he was. If you listen to it, you would swear to God, think it's Stone Cold. He probably didn't like how real it sounded. I don't know. But it's stupid. And if he did have a fence, he should have went to Ruddy Ruddy Piper like a man. Anyways, long I could ran on for this about ever. Long story short, Piper and Austin, they had beef for whatever. And apparently, so he lost his draft of podcast. And it was also reported that since Austin does so much deals with the WWE and he does the Austin podcast and all this other stuff that the WWE let Rowdy Rowdy Piper go of his legend still, which is bullshit. And I, the only reason why I believe that is right after that looked, I looked and they removed all Rowdy Rowdy Piper merchandise from the WWE shop. Everything was gone to Rowdy Rowdy Piper on the WWE Network. They even took down the Rowdy Rowdy Piper documentary and they still, after his death, have not put his documentary back. They have not put his documentary tree back on the network. Bullshit, man, of WWE. Anyways, fast forward a couple weeks later. Ready, Ready Piper is now dead. And they 
WWE put out this bullshit, and it was a nice, it, it was a, it was a beautiful, nice video package they showed. They did the ten bell salute like they did with, with all the legends that died. They did the ten bell salute. They had Vince McMahon, everyone wearing hot rod shirts. So now all of a sudden they digged out those shirts that they took off online because of the beef with Austin, because Austin's a little bitch. Took them out. All wearing the thing, did the Temple Salute, had a very nice video package, five minute video package, and that was it. You know, I could see that being it for Monday Night Raw, but with the network, no specials, no. No, they just aired, they just put out this uh, table of three, this uh, uh, 30 minute conversation between him, Mr. Wonderful Pond Orndoff, and Mean Gene Oakland of the Weekend of WrestleMania talking, but it wasn't a special about Reddy Piper's life, nothing, nothing like they did with the Ultimate Warrior, who, in my opinion, who, who was a legend, and I'm not demeaning him, but Piper did more, the launch wrestling, he, he was the main villain, he's been around, he's done more for professional wrestling than Ultimate Warrior, and uh, Dusty Rhodes, who, I'm not going to say, Dusty did a lot for WWE, especially with the developmental, I'm not even going to bash it, but the point is, he should have got the same thing as Dusty Rhodes got. He, I mean, you got the network. Put, at least replay his damn documentary. You don't even have to. And, and that documentary was made back in 2005, 6. I mean, you didn't even have to redo it like you did with the Warrior. You could just play that old one. Or or, or, or did well, what they did with Dusty Rhodes. Have a round table. You know, what uh, they did with Ric Flair and whatever with Dusty. They could have done the same thing with Piper. Have, um at the time, Hogan already got in his trouble. So maybe not Hogan, but have Flair and a few other guys that was close to Row Rowdy Piper. Come on and tell stories about the man. The man had more stories than, than anybody else. The, my guy was one of the most controversial figures of all time. How WWE handled it. Uh, like, the only reason why they did that. Tam Bell salute and the, the video package, in my opinion, was because that was the minimum they needed to do. Because they, they had to acknowledge it. They had to do something. Or, or the PR would have been too bad. The backlash would have been too bad on WWE. Uh, but uh, they had to do something. But they didn't care about Ready Ready Paper. They like, fuck you. Why? Because Ready Piper has a set of balls and he and he was the only guy that didn't just lay over whatever Vince wanted. He stood for what he wanted. Roddy Piper was a man's man. He was a guy who like he didn't just go with with whatever WWE felt uh, uh, even though Piper knew it was wrong. He didn't prostitute himself like a lot of wrestlers do. If he felt something in his heart, he did what he felt was right all the time. He wasn't a bitch like everybody else, like fucking Stone Cold. And fuck you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I've been a fan of you. I've bought your shirts. I've bought your merchandises. But And I'm not even judging on this situation. Well, a little bit I'm judging on this situation. Because I believe how you handle it, like if you're a man, if you felt offended about something, you walk up to Ruddy Piper like a man and call him and say, you know what? Bro, I was offended by that, even though it's stupid to be offended, and I think you're a bitch for being offended by that. You claim to be the biggest badass, the biggest toughest SOB, and you can't even take an impersonation? Fuck you, Stone Cold. You're a fucking fraud. You're a fraud. And then after he died, you didn't even acknowledge it. You, I think you tweet, and because I, I, I listened to your podcast, Austin, I didn't, but now I'm starting not to because your voice now is starting to piss me off because now I'm like the way this Piper situation, you've, you've proven yourself as a fraud and not real you're not real and like i i like men of men you know guys who who, who have a problem they talk to him and then after he died you tweeted oh yeah you know wrestling lost a great legend or whatever you didn't talk about that on this podcast on your podcast you could have said you know what I, I felt offended you know me and Roddy piper we had this issue and you know what maybe i didn't handle it right you know, you could have made up for it, you know, and, and I would have accepted that, you know, you could have said, you know what, I, when I get mad, I don't know how I handle myself, and I, I went to the podcast, and I'm sorry for everything that happened, and now he's gone, I'm so sorry, I, re I really wish we had a chance to bury the hatchet, or whatever, you know, um, I'm, I'm very, and to just talk about him, and like, you know what, we, we lost, you know, I acknowledged, it. he never acknowledged it on this podcast, Never. And then, you know what's so, to me, a big slap in the face? After that night, when, when, when WWE did their little tribute to Piper on Raw with just 10 minutes, really, you know, they spent, they did the 10 bell salute in the video package. After that, what did they show after Raw? Instead of showing, maybe postponing the, you know, they, they, they could have easily, 
easily shot the Austin podcast with Paige. They could have shot it right, right there after Raw, but they could have aired it after after SmackDown. You have a network, and instead, showing a real tribute to Piper could have did something for him after Raw. No, instead, guy you had beef with or whatever, you're just pissing all over Piper. Even in your trivia, you pissed on him. So fuck you, WWE, and fuck you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Seriously, man. Be a man. Be a man like Roddy Piper was. I mean, it, it just really irritates me, you know. But I guess that's corporate wrestling. Let's forget about everything that Piper's done for pro wrestling. Anyways, that's my uh, uh, th th that's this video on how I believe the WWE handle Piper's death. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave the comments. Please subscribe. Tell your friends that the T-Man is back and pumping out videos. Catch you for the next one, guys. Take care.